Welcome. I am inviting you to read along or chat along with us for our March 2020 Book of the Month. Hi, I'm Crystal, and this is Stirred Up Book Club, a book club I'm hoping will be a place for homeschool moms. We stick to the book club model in that we focus on one book a month. But because this is YouTube, we don't have to wait until the end of the month or the end of the book to start discussing it. So we discuss books uh, in manageable chunks, and I hope you can tune in for our twice a week videos. Let's announce March 2020's book of the month. Okay, The Leader in Me by Stephen R. Covey. I picked this book up a few months ago at a secondhand store for a couple bucks. <laughs> um, it looks interesting because it talks about character development in our children. This book is written by Stephen Covey, who is, of course, the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which was written in 89. And since that time, um, various people have independently brought his ideas into schools, first to the teachers, eventually to teenagers, and ultimately through the whole K-12 through spectrum. And this book covers, um, covers the experiences of some of those successful schools and um, as well as digs into some of the research behind the principles of applying the seven habits, um, teaching younger ages to apply the seven habits. Okay, so I have only read the introduction and the first chapter of this book. But what immediately struck me was the positive, optimistic, almost celebratory tone of, um, of the author. And that just made it pleasant to read. But furthermore, I could see from the beginning that there was a generational perspective on educating our children that, um, that was not only emphasized, but um, studied. And so that's one of the first things that interested me. But also, I don't know if you could see the subtitle when I held it up. But the subtitle is How Schools and Parents Around the World Are Inspiring Greatness One Child at a Time. Uh, being a homeschool parent, we don't have the 30-person classrooms of schools. So the idea of somehow tuning in to the individual child um, made me think that there could be ideas in here that are pertinent to homeschooling. <clears throat> In the introduction, Covey writes, um, this approach, etc., has the purpose uh, to teach them, being our students, how to lead their individual lives and how to succeed in the 21st century. So it says elsewhere, that the leadership he's talking about in this book is not how to make every child become a CEO, um, but rather the um, qualities of character that allow someone to take charge of their lives and interact well with other people and the environment around them. Finally, this is not supposed to be a curriculum. It's not some um, strict plan, as far as I understand it, telling you step by step how to teach this subject and that subject. 
this book operates more on the philosophical level, the big ideas that we all need to consider um, as we ask, how do we want to approach the education of our children? So it is, it sounds like it will be covering big questions like, what does it mean to be educated? How would you define a leader? Um, what is the role of a child in their own education? Um, yeah, with any non-biblical writing, I'm going to be cautious about um, what ideas I actually employ and um, I'm going to judge the ideas. <laughs> I'm going to judge the ideas. And in fact, when I was starting this book club, um, Philippians 4.8 came to mind, which is the verse that says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So my goal in reading this is to pick out what is good and throw away the rest. I am going to put up a screenshot of the reading schedule I plan to follow, and um, there will be announcements on Twitter as well. Remember also that every video comes with a summary. So even if you're just interested in the content of this book um, and not reading it for yourself, you can tune into the videos and get some of the information and participate in the discussions anyway. Thank you for watching and I hope we can enjoy this book together.